Hello and welcome back to another edition of Sticks and Stories with Devin. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you had a good weekend. Uh, happy Monday, going right into the week. And we're going to start out with a cigar I've been excited to smoke for a while now. I just haven't got around to trying it. And then I occasionally order some cigars from Cigars.com. And I got an email that they were doing buy a five pack, get one free. So I grabbed the Oliva Master Blend 3. And I also grabbed the five pack of the Oliva Milano Series V. Um... Really excited. Dark wrapper. Oh man, dominated completely by this nutty dark chocolate on the wrapper. That's a sun grown, sun grown broadleaf wrapper with the Nicaraguan Habano binder and the Nicaraguan Alejero fillers. Um, so through and through, that's a dark stick, robusto size. A busto. Got a really beautiful band on it. It's box pressed. Like I said, that's really dark chocolate on the wrapper, but the foot dominates complete like a nuttiness. Nutty, almost like a hazelnut. It's hard to explain. So dark chocolate, hazelnut, nutty that it almost smells like infused. Obviously, it's not. Let's see what the cold draws like. Don't mind, I mean, I know some people don't prefer the box press, and sometimes it doesn't burn as nicely, but uh, I don't have a problem with them, honestly. Dark. Exactly like the smell. This woody hazelnut dark chocolate. I'm going to cut it down a little lower than I usually would because it draws a little tight. Still a little tight, but I actually don't mind that personally as long as it's the smoke output's still good. You gotta work for it a little bit, it's not the end of the world. Well, let's smoke it. Alright guys, so we're outside with the first third of the Oliva Master Blend 3. softer than I expected on the retro. Mm. Earthy. Pretty dark, tasty. Really quite dark. I'm going to smoke it a little bit and come back to you. Let it really coat my palate and give it a good taste for a minute here and I'll come right back with you. All right, so we're well into the second third here. Really smoked through that first third, trying to get a really good flavor profile on this cigar and it's really awesome. Got to be a little harsh about it. It draws a little tight. I don't mind it. Like I said, the smoke output's still really good, but it'll get a thing for that. But other than that, it comes on dark Nicaraguan tobacco flavor, and it goes into like an earthy with a slight leather. And then finishes really sweet with that chocolatey toasted almond nut flavor. It's pretty complex. Really quite a fan of it so far. It's a delicious cigar. Really tasty. And it's beautiful out. The only thing I regret is I don't have my sunnies on. I think they're in my wife's car. I hope they are at least great day snow starting to melt still have eh, probably well over a foot in the backyard but inside of the house renovation went really well so looking forward to 
getting outside, redoing my deck I'm on. Just kind of getting the yard cleaned up a little bit and getting the fence put up for the dogs so they can be out back. Play some frisbee. So whether you're in the same boat, waiting for that snow to get out of your yard, and waiting for the golf courses to open, take your kids outside, whatever it is you do, hike with the dogs, we're going to get there. And if you live in Florida or something like that, it's nice every day, well, you enjoy that too. Light leather to that chocolate. It's a really nice blend. They did a really good job on this blend. It's complex. Really tasty, a little bit spicy through the retro now, but awesome cigar. The box press is burning fantastic. I haven't touched this up or touched it or anything like that. Nicely compact, tight cigar. It's going to have a pretty pretty long smoking time for this size. There's that real chocolate toasted nut. Gives you a little bit of everything going through here that I've named. and It's consistent, but sometimes you get a little of this, a little of that. It definitely draws where you get it all. So it is consistent, but it's nice to be able to pick out some different flavors. All right, I'm going to keep smoking it. We'll get back to you. Well, guys, we're wrapping up here. Just got a little, little nubby. But still, it's just as enjoyable from the light up, honestly. It remained consistent the whole time. Maybe a little bit of a floral came out towards the end. Something that I've called like this little fig newtony taste before. Did such a good job with this blend. Highly recommend it. Full body through and through. <laughs> kind of. I don't want to say for more of the experienced smoker. Because there's experienced smokers that love like Davidoff. The thousand series that are extremely light in my opinion. And. But for the darker cigar lover, or someone who's been into cigars for a long time and wants something darker, highly recommend it. That wood developed a little bit, that nutty toasted wood. Still earthy, a little bit of leather. Yeah, super glad I picked these up. Box worthy cigar in my opinion. I think you'd ever pick this up, have a bad time smoking it. Draw remained perfect. Well the burn, excuse me, remained perfect. The draw is a little tight through and through, but nothing to really complain about. I'm being 92 points on this today. I think 92 points is extremely fair. It's a great cigar. Like I said, 10 out of 10 recommend it. Even smoking down this far, you get some cigars, they start to get hot. You get that ammoni, kind of nasty, over leather top taste to it. This doesn't have that at all. It's really long smoke too for its size. Probably definitely smoked it just over an hour. Burn time. That chocolate on the end is so pronounced the whole time through the whole cigar. Never lost it, never dropped off in the last third. That's a great cigar, guys. I hope you have a great week. Thank you, as always. Uh, really enjoying bringing these videos to you guys. Just getting the channel up and started. Like I've said many a times, I got a lot of cigars on the back burner that are awesome cigars that I'm over the top excited to review and talk to you about. But I'm not going to do that until we can get out and have fun, do some hiking, get on the golf course, be out in the yard, and really enjoy ourselves in the sun. And when that day comes, we'll bring you some more heaters, but this is an awesome cigar. Thank you again for joining me. Have a great week. And thanks for being on Sticks and Stories. Have a great day.